Chris did the welding and, and uh, we fabricated mm -hmm. battery cages mm -hmm. and yeah, welded so, things in. So the gas tank used to be right here, mm -hmm. the muffler was over right here, mm -hmm. and then the spare tire used to be back there, mm -hmm. and there was some emissions control stuff, you know, wedged in back bye here bye. between everything yeah, else. Yeah, no emissions control. Yeah. That's no gone. emissions. Wow. No, no, so no emissions. emissions. And then we, we had to, uh, we actually cut some parts of the cross members out and as we cut one cross member out we'd weld another piece of steel in so we didn't have to worry about changing any of the geometry on the frame mm -hmm. and everything's pretty well overbuilt in here it's so pretty so there's 19 six volt batteries back here um, this is the higher end of the string and this is the main fuse right here the batteries come into the main the fuse front. and then from there they go up to the front so, so that would volt. be your flux capacitor right there. <laughs> flux, flux capacitor. capacitor. <laughs> yeah. So why, why is six volts? Uh, six volt, uh, you have more lead. Okay. More lead and more acid is uh, more power, basically. Okay. That's the heating circuits for the batteries. Yeah, those the are temp controllers. temperature sensors and, and relays to control the, the heaters under the batteries. Yeah. Yeah. No, it seems funny that you have just a plain old little, little well, battery here. that runs the electric switches. Okay. The lights, the heater fans, everything else is 12 volt. So 24 plus one. Yeah, yeah 24. Right. And then the, the, the 144 volt uh, traction battery pack, which is the five up here and the 19 in the back, run through this, a DC-DC converter to change the 100. It's a transformer. Runs the 144 down to 12 and keeps this battery always charged. Mm -hmm. So you never have to worry about the, the lights getting dim, uh -huh. the headlights. So. Wow. Drive at night. What about charging stations? Um, do you have to map those out and know where those are? We just charge our, our at home. charging station is right behind the driver's seat. So yeah, we just charge at home. Outlet. Any place and you and got any a, place there's an outlet. We got a digital electric or digital uh, electric, uh, electric meter. Uh -huh. So when we charge it, we know exactly how much goes in. That's yeah. how we figured out that half a kilowatt hour per mile. Right. We just kept records for That's about the first gauge. three months. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so you plug it in, and the If you plug it in, yeah. right? Absolutely. <laughs> Run a wire from there to your outlet. Yeah. Either you know, 220 or 110. Sure. Uh, Here's our adapter. That's our adapter here. plug. Yeah. That's that on the you know <laughs> Nissan Leaf. That adapter plate probably cost you like 300. Yeah, I bet. Our extension cord. So our extension. we can we can plug it in anywhere. <laughs> It's color coordinated too. Anyway, How nice! The wire comes from here, wraps around here, and goes to the charger. The, uh, okay. Cord comes up through the floor, and it goes into our kilowatt hour meter in the back here, and that's basically like your electric meter on your house. And then there's a dial right here, or we can uh, we can adjust the amperage. Okay. That's uh, that the charger is accepting. Yeah, it's uh, made by a company in Washington. Okay. Yeah. American made. American made. Made in the USA. And that's charger number 194 right there. Okay. Charger number 194. What is out of Washington? So that means, like, for example, if we figured out how to have a solar power gener uh, situation out here at the farm, you could actually solar power the truck because you just like suck the power right out of it. Looking at these huge power lines that come in to run the accelerator. Electric Avenue, and then we'll take it higher. Oh, we gotta rock down to Electric Avenue, and then we'll take it higher. Electric Avenue, and then we'll take it higher. 